Just shuffle this way a tiddly bit, Lorna. Just only a tiniest bit, that's it. Head up a little, that's cool. Turn your face this way, Titch, that's it, got it. And it's a bit too dark. I'm trying to shoot a white on white image here with Lorna. We've got the white hood against a white wall. But the camera's making it grey. It's making it a bit dark because it's seeing all the white and thinking that can't be right. <clears throat> and it's darkening the picture. So how do I get around that? I'm shooting in a semi-auto mode. I'm using aperture priority. That's aperture value, AV, if you're using a Canon. On the top of my camera, I've got this little button here. It's called the exposure compensation button. Now, when you press it, I get these numbers come up. Now, when I dial to the left, I've got plus one, minus one, minus 1.3, etc. What it's doing is it's telling the camera to make the picture lighter or darker. Because Lorna is against a white backdrop wearing white, the camera is getting it dark, so I want the picture to be brighter. So I'm going to press the exposure compensation button and I'm going to dial in plus one. That's plus one of a stop. That's twice as much light. Let's see what it manages to do this time. Here we go. Can you rotate to your right just a little, Lorna? Perfect. That's it. Nice bit of profile going on there. And that's much better. It's brightened up the image. However, I think it could do with a little bit more. So I'm going to dial in plus 1.7, that's just under four times as much light. Can you rotate to the right again? Just a, that's plenty. Perfect, thanks Lorna. Perfect. This time we've got nice bright white. The histogram is off to the right where it should be. So at plus 1.7, it's making that bright white of Lorna's clothes and the background white. Isn't that brilliant? If you want to shoot at night, you've got the opposite problem. You could probably just about make out, out there in the gloom, there is a keeper's cottage on the side of the shore by the sea. Now, the reason you can't see it terribly well in the video camera is because the video camera has to use a fast shutter speed so it can record my movements. Your stills camera doesn't have to do that. You can have long, slow exposures. Provided you're on a tripod and nothing's moving, it'll be nice and sharp. Now, because your camera has been told that the world is mid-grey, that's halfway between black and white, and mid-grey equates to daylight in average conditions, your camera will try and make all the pictures you take look like that whenever it's in control of the exposure. It's why the pictures of Lorna against the white wall with the white hood looked grey, they looked dark, because the camera is trying to convert that white into grey, which is what it's been told the world is. Out here at night, it's going to try and make nighttime into daytime because it's going to try and brighten everything up. Let me show you what I mean. If I take a shot of the keeper's cottage, which I set up earlier, you'll notice I'm using the self timer and this is going to be a very, very slow exposure. I don't want to touch the camera when I press the shutter because if I do, I may just move the camera a little bit and I'll get a blurry picture. The shutter is still open. Listen to how long that exposure is. It's probably going to be 30 seconds or more. There it goes. Do you hear it click? It's just closed the shutter. The reason it was such a long, slow exposure is the camera is holding the shutter open for ages and ages and ages to hoover up every last little bit of light that there is lying around here to try and make that nighttime shot into daytime. The camera's still processing it. Yeah, there you go. You see how it's brightened it up? It's made it much, much brighter than I actually want it. Now we need to make it darker. So by using the exposure compensation switch, I can dial that down to minus one. That's minus one stop. A halving or a doubling is a stop. So therefore it's going to be twice as dark as it was. So let's press the button and see what happens. You'll notice that this shutter speed is going to be half as long. It's going to be a shorter shutter speed because we don't want so much light coming in. So therefore the pitch will be a little bit darker. It's still a long old time though. Oh, what a wait. There it goes. It's processing out. Yeah, that's much, much better. It looks far more night-ish, but I want it to be a bit darker, a bit more moody. We want to get that cottage almost silhouette-y. I'm just going to dial in a little bit more. Let's go to minus 1.7 and see what it does with that. 
again it's going to just shorten the shutter speed that little bit to let that little bit less light in but because it's dark it's still quite a long old wait there we go yep that's bang on that is exactly what we want the picture to look like now your exposure compensation button will work with any automatic mode but it won't work in manual whenever you have your camera in a manual mode you're telling the camera I'm in control I'm doing the exposures so therefore the automated features such as the exposure compensation will no longer work you've got to do it yourself there you go the exposure compensation button is a great little tool to help you get the pictures as bright or as dark as you want them because you are the creative force behind your camera not the camera itself.